Thomas Lecoq. That's Lecoq. a terrible French last name. Thank you. <laughs> Members of the school board, I want to apologize for the fact that 18 months in, in the midst of this global pandemic and the trauma all of us together are undergoing, you're being asked once again to have to make a new set of decisions in the face of a very contentious community discourse for the health and safety of our children. You do not work for us. You are not employees. You are our neighbors. You are members of our community who have graciously volunteered your time and energy and concern to try and do what is right for the kids, for their education, for this town and school district, for their health and safety. And I can only imagine there have been parts of this year where it's been an incredibly thankless experience. Thank you for letting us be here. Now I'm here for to advocate for looking at the science, the real science, not Reddit or YouTube videos or Facebook posts or anecdotes from a friend of a friend, and public health data on mask wearing and then trying to do the most good for the largest number of people. I hear your stories. I understand that there are people who will be impacted that have real exceptions that are needed. We know that. But what we also know is that wearing masks to slow pandemics is not new. It was shown to be effective over a century ago. It was standardized in the US and around the world during the Spanish flu, with massive spikes and higher death tolls when over year adults decided to stop wearing them after the first wave. And masks have continued to be used to deal with airborne pandemics into the 21st century. We know that last year was one of the lowest rates of flu in schools in America since we started recording because of widespread mask wearing. It slows the spread of airborne illness. And we are also, unfortunately, living through a continued, massive, worldwide pandemic that we can see in real time the way areas that are masking compare to areas that are not. And if you won't trust academic studies and widespread surveys, see the evidence when we talk to people who live in countries that are actually doing something. There is no debate on the science. COVID is an airborne disease. Masks reduce its spread. The more people wear the masks, the less it spreads. Universal mask wearing has the effect of reducing the spread in those places the most. The debate is not over the science or over public health measures or over their impact. The science is clear. The experts are agreed masks work. The debate as it were is people denying the science and the evidence and yelling that their Google searches, YouTube queries, friend of friends, anecdote are more real than clinical research and study. Our governor likes to point out that Iowa safely reopened schools last year. Well, last year we had mandatory quarantine for exposed people, social distancing, and critically, universal mask wearing in the schools. We're not here to discuss the other parts, which are out of your control, but you do have the chance to bring universal mask wearing back for the health and safety of our children. I am sorry you're being put in this situation once again in such extraordinary circumstances with so much concern and fear and high emotions of the surrounding community. But I hope you remember why you want to be on this board for the sake of the children of this community and do what you can to keep them healthy and safe in our schools. Thank you.